it, uh, James, he left me with this task. <laughs> He's like, you got it. Carry on. So I've been trying. I mean, we did. We, we've, you know, we've, we've talked about the pocket lifesaver, how that came about, the Boston bombing, my personal experience, you know, all of that stuff, all that stuff we talked about. And then one of you guys sends me this video. Um, you got the YouTube video, Zach, six days ago or, or a few days ago. Yes. I queued it up. So there's, I'll set it up for you and then I'll shut up. So there's these two people that I was not aware of. They're called arm. They call themselves armed attorneys. Somebody mentioned that in your, the comments of the discord. Yeah. They call themselves armed attorneys and they're supposedly pro 2A, right? So just a, they did a YouTube video podcast here recently. And I don't think we need to give them any airtime on our show. Well, I, I want. Can we just sum summarize? No, I want people to hear this because people won't believe it. People will say people will say that there's no way that in the year 2023 that intelligent adults would say this play this play play it from this is a man and a woman who call themselves armed attorneys they have a youtube channel and a podcast or whatever and this is their take on trauma kits right and that's where i mean when we look more towards self-defense mm -hmm. that's where i think trauma kits are not a good idea yeah they they definitely might not be people because be mad at me for saying that but i i honestly believe that if i have a client who gives in a self-defense shooting I do not want them to have a trauma kit on their person. Yeah, I think a good way to start would be like creating that baseline. You don't have a trauma kit. Yeah. Um, let's say, I mean, and the big downside of that is maybe you're less prepared for emergencies. Sure. Maybe you don't have the capacity to mitigate, you know, somebody losing their life or... Uh, maybe that person's very close to you. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, there's definitely some downsides, but I think to your point of if you do have a trauma kit, I think the list of cons is kind of long. It's long. So, I mean, let's talk about it. So... Do you want to keep going? You you want to hear what this 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 bubble headed bleach blonde has to say about why you should not have a trauma kit on you, or do you want to just leave it right no. there? If you're willing to be there while somebody that you love is dying, just to be better off in a legal situation, you are. I would question the morals. You are a horrible, monstrous person it's like they they i they I, i'm not going to listen to what she has to say about the the specific reason the cons right I'll, I'll probably listen to it later i'll listen to it later but i i just don't care i would rather save the life of my loved ones and end up in prison you you're not going to that's see that's the lie but, but if it did happen i would rather go to prison knowing that i saved my wife or my kids there's there's four James Yeager is he wrote a book before he he wrote before he died he goes he goes if you are ever forced into a crisis it is thrust upon you you left the house that day weren't planning to do anything and the crisis is in front of you whether it is a burning building whether it is a rollover car crash whether it is an armed confrontation with a a, a robber, murderer, rapist, whatever. If you're forced, if you're put in there, there's four outcomes, four potential outcomes, and that's it. You are either going to be a live hero, a dead hero, live a dead. live coward, ah. or a dead coward. Yep. Those are your choices. He said, so you, the situation is right in front of you. You have you didn't plan it. That's the way the world is. You know, you, you don't get to plan for these things. You're not going to get a postcard. And you're at the at when it's all over with, you're going to be one of four things. You're either going to be a live hero, a dead hero, a living coward or a dead coward. The choice is up to you. That, you know, all the other bull crap aside, all the other hashtag EDC, Instagram, whatever, all the crap aside, 
at the end of the day, after that crisis is over, people are going to think of you in one of four ways. You get to decide. That's the only thing you get to decide. You don't get to decide whether the crisis happens. You don't get to decide whether the crisis materializes. You get to decide how you react to that crisis. And you're either going to be a, you're either going to be a hero living or dead or you're going to be a despicable coward living or dead. And I don't think we use that enough. I don't think we use the term cowardice enough. These yeah. people uh, on this video are cowards. They're living cowards. They're currently living, breathing cowards, and they want you to be a living, breathing coward as well. I don't give two fat rats rear ends if they claim to be pro 2A. They don't get it. They don't understand. And they want you to be a living or a dead coward. Don't listen to these people. I've spent 15 mother loving years as detailed in this new book, trying to get people to shut the F up and do the right thing. Something else, you know, James and I had many, many conversations over the years about this, about you're going to get sued. There's too much liability, blah, 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 blah. Brothers and sisters, James put it to me this way. I'm going to put it to you this way. There is no greater liability than you purposefully killing a human. End of story. If you're willing to carry a gun and you're willing to look in the mirror and say, yes, I could use this tool to shoot a human. And if that human dies, well, then they die. You're morally okay, mentally and morally justified in your brain. I'm going to carry this lethal force instrument. And if I have to, I'll shoot that joker. But you won't carry a trauma kit because there's too much liability involved. You're a coward and you're intellectually dishonest. You're lying to yourself. There is no greater liability than purposefully killing a human. Like, no, putting a tourniquet on, there's way more, there's way more liability in putting a tourniquet on a person than actually shooting them. No, there's not. The jurisprudence is there. And I, so, dear Lord, should we or should we not take the advice of the galactically stupid? Oh. That's why I said I had to be here today. And, and how the book just came out, it's just live, and boom, two idiots go onto YouTube to convince people to not do the right thing. In my article, in the article, The Truth About Posers, I said, look, what, what I do, what we do is I'm not giving you my opinion about cooking recipes. I'm not te teaching you how to get red wine stains out of a shirt. I'm not teaching you to play tennis or ballroom dance where bad advice really, if I give you bad advice about cooking and you make a dish that you don't enjoy, it's no one dies. You see, that's the thing with our, my world in this world versus the other world where people they are like, well, everyone has an opinion and everyone's opinion is valid. And no, everyone's opinion is not valid. And some opinions are lethally dangerous. Like I said, there was a guy out there when I wrote that article, there was a guy who was thinking about getting training was thinking about carrying medical gear. Then he saw that article by the posers that said, don't do that. It's better off left to the professionals. You shouldn't do that. If you do, you're going to get sued. These are all the reasons you shouldn't. So that guy, he was right there. He was about to do it, but he was talked out of it because this so-called expert with a show, a YouTube channel, whatever, talked him out of doing the right thing and then in the future time goes by 
That dude is in a rollover car crash. His 10 year old daughter has a severed arm because that's what happens in rollover car crashes. Limbs get severed. And you know what that dude does? He holds her with his hands as hard as he can, and she dies right in front of him. Because why? Why didn't he have the training? Why didn't he have the gear? Because a person talked him out of it. And his daughter now, he gets to watch the life float out of her eyes when he was going to. He had the intention to do the right thing. And then a quote unquote, well-intentioned person came along and talked him out of doing it. And now someone is dead who didn't need to be dead, except for the dangerous, dangerous opinions of idiots. Should we or should we not take the advice of the galactically stupid? Thank you. I was successfully able to pull it out. Finally.